a caravanning trip through the Southern Downs wouldn't be complete without stopping off at least once to sample the local produce, particularly around the towns of Stanthorpe and nearby Ballandine, where visitors usually come to do one of two things. Either get outside and visit one of the spectacular national parks on the town's doorstep, or stay inside at a cosy B&B, enjoying fresh-picked fruit or a bottle of wine from one of the local vineyards. Normally in this part of the world I'm looking for the wild places to go camping or hiking, but as you can see, today I've left the walking boots and the backpack behind because I'm going to look at one of the more cultivated aspects of the Granite Belt. There are more than 50 wineries scattered throughout this region, but few have the history and family tradition of Ballandine Estate. Come harvesting time, you'll find the patriarch of the family, Angelo Puglisi, working away out in the vineyards as his wife Mary cooks traditional Italian fare for the restaurant. In the cellar door, it's the two daughters running tastings and tours through the grounds, while their husbands work away in the winery alongside the next generation who continue to follow in the family footsteps. This has got to be a great business to be in. It is. We love it. I've been here ever since I was born and grapes is my life. Um, I love growing them, I love eating them, I love drinking them. Uh, so we have it all. Just like his father and grandfather before him, Angelo has developed an intimate knowledge of the entire process from vine to vat. And it's a passion he's happy to share with anyone that stops by. Now this is actually a red juice grape. Yes, it is. Uh, there's not many varieties in the world. And as you can see, it's almost purple, OK? That's where your colour comes from, and that's why it produces good, big, vintage ports. Mate, you go back to business. Just leave me here, I'll be OK, fine. you can stay here. I'll yeah. walk back to the house later. We usually uh, get the shotgun out when we have too many birds <laughs> in here. <laughs> you got pests. There is a restaurant in the cellar door, but today I've been made an honorary member of this already extensive family. The lunch with the entire clan in the true Italian tradition. Good thing about having a massage, you go back for a second. Ballandine Estate is open for wine tastings and takeaway every day. And given the family's love of the lifestyle, that's sure to be the case for many years to come. And you've now got a fifth generation coming through. We do, we do. And uh, that's uh, pretty exciting, I suppose, for any family that um, we can still be in the family business and generations on, fifth generation, we'll see what happens. And they're being trained in the art of eating gnocchi. Of eating gnocchi. <laughs> that, that's an Italian pastime, especially for grandsons. Grandmother's job is to uh, make sure that the grandsons are always very well fed. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if they're taking in sauces, yeah, that's right. Is Little orange faces. <laughs> That's always a good sign of happy grandsons. Big grins. <laughs> of course, this is just one of an almost endless list of destinations to check out on a caravanning holiday. So, if you think this way of life might agree with you, then start making plans to get along to the Queensland Caravan Camping and Touring Holiday Show, which starts.